Hi there, watercolor friends. If you're looking to relax with watercolors, I think you'll like this video. Make sure to check out all the other videos in this series. In today's video, we're going to divide our paper into long, thin rectangles so that it looks like washi tape strips. I'm using my ruler and marking every three quarters of an inch because washi tape is typically 0.5 or 0.6 inches wide. And I'm using skinnier washi tape to make the divisions. My paper pad is from Legion and it is 9 by 12 inches. Just like in previous videos, don't overlook this preparation step because this part can also be instrumental to relaxing with watercolors. Sometimes the prep is more stressful because we feel like we have to make sure that the prep is done perfectly. So I totally understand. But even this part, you can remind yourself to slow down. Now, you don't have to do as many designs as I am, obviously, but I only had one more sheet left in this watercolor block, so I figured might as well use it up for this video. At the end, I'll show you how to remove watercolor paper from a block because most likely you're used to using watercolor paper in pad form. So again, breathe in, breathe out slowly, even through this prep process. Don't worry if your tape isn't laid down absolutely perfectly. I think the more we actually practice mindfulness, the more we'll be able to get to enjoying it instead of stressing out about it. If you're not familiar with washi tape, washi tape is repositionable and it's decorative tape. They come in different widths, but again, the most popular and most common widths are 0.5 to 0.6 inches. Now, as you can see, the washi tape that I'm using to make my dividers is a lot skinnier. So they do make really skinny washi tape as well. I like to use skinnier washi tape for, you know, masking areas or, you know, exactly what I'm doing right now, just making small borders. Thicker or wider washi tape is great for creating like the crisp white borders around your paper. I've used that a lot, especially in my 100 day project. So I hope you'll check those out. But yeah, washi tape is really great for more than just masking your paper. You can use it to seal envelopes. You can use it to display your paintings or photos up on the wall, as long as they're not too thick or heavy. I also like to use it in my journals, planners, etc. the taping is done. I'm going to use primarily my size two and size one round watercolor brushes. And for each washi tape design, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So you can feel free to do whatever you want as well. I'm going to do a variety of leaves, washes, flowers, fruits, hearts, bows. You can really choose any motif as you want try different color schemes. Rainbow is definitely a fun one to do. 
but I decided to do this washi tape design as the last one for this month so that I can incorporate a lot of the exercises that we've been doing, but on a much smaller scale. Sometimes when we paint smaller, we can actually get caught up even more in the tiny details. So this is your opportunity to challenge yourself to not do that and instead enjoy the process no matter what. As always, take time to breathe in and out slowly. Enjoy this real time video. Sit back, relax and paint various patterns. And I'll see you towards the end as I show you how I remove this paper and share some final thoughts. I'll see you in a bit.
Wow, and there you have it. All of the washi tape designs are done. I hope you're really proud of what you've made. And again, if you have less designs than I do, that's okay. It doesn't matter how many you did, but that you enjoyed the process. So let's go ahead and do the tape peel. I always love this part. I love seeing that white crisp border. It's so satisfying. Do you see a design that you particularly like? I think I really like the tulips just because that's my favorite flower. I also love how this rainbow one turned out. And I like how there's a mix of the wet on wet effect and wet on dry. So you've got those hard edges and those blurry edges too. I wonder if I should actually make a washi tape collection. <laughs> I would really love to. I think even the fruits one is really fun. So thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what you've created. Please make sure to tag me at Audrey Rod Design and use the hashtag paint with Audrey if you followed along. Let me know in the comments which design was your favorite. All right, now to remove this paper from the block, I like to use my envelope knife. You can use a butter knife, you can use a bone folder, just anything to kind of separate the pages. Usually in block form, there's a small area that isn't glued completely. So that's where you wanna insert your knife or bone folder, etc. And then just gently go all the way around. And this one, like I said, it's the last page, so yeah <laughs> so satisfying to even peel that off of the backing as well please subscribe and i'll see you next time bye